Hello everyone. Let's provide the solution to this um, simultaneous equation. This is our equation 1 and this is our equation 2. Now to deal with this equation, it's simple what we're going to do. From equation 1 where we have x plus y equal to 8. We can make x a subject. So we have 8 minus y, and we can call this our equation 3. Remember, we are going to need this equation again. Now, what we'll do again is putting this value of x into equation 2. And what's our equation 2? We have x, y equals 12. Now, it's going to be y multiplying x right so and our x is 8 minus y then this is equal to 12. so from here we open the bracket as we have 8y minus y squared equals 12. and then to rearrange this in a better way we are going to have um minus y squared plus 8y then 12 comes here to become minus 12 and this is equal to 0 but the quadratic equation is expected to begin with a positive term so we we'll multiply everything here by negative 1 so we have y squared this turns to negative 8y this turns to plus 12y and there's nothing like negative 0, so you write your 0 over there. Now, we have um, a quadratic equation, and we will look for the method to use. You can decide to use the method you think is best for you, right? Okay, so we are going to use um factorization method. And for that, we'll look for two numbers who we'll multiply to get 12. And we bring both of them together to get minus 8. I think the numbers should be minus 6 and uh, minus 2. Yes, because minus 6 times minus 2 will give plus 12. And minus 6 minus 2 will give minus 8, right? So in that case, we are going to write y minus 6 as one of the factors. And then y minus 2 is the other factor. And then this is equal to 0. From here, we use our zero product rule to get the values of y. We are going to have y minus 6 to be equal to 0 or y minus 2 to be equal to 0. From here, y will be equal to 0 plus 6 or y to be equal to 0 plus 2. So we are saying that y is equal to 6 or y is equal to 2. But remember, we're not looking for only the value of y. We are equally looking for the value of, of x, right? And then remember when I told you that we would get back to our equation 3, which is x equal to 8 minus y, right? So from there, we should be able to get the values of x. So that when I write x to be equal to 8 minus y, this is from our equation 3. Now, when y is equal to 6, what will be x? Okay, so we're going to write x to be equal to 8 minus 6. And our x is equal to 2. So we are saying that when when um y is equal to 6 x is equal to is equal to 2 right so from here we have the value for x and y but then we will still get another value of x from the same equation which is x equal to 8 minus y we have used the value of y as 6 now go back to the second value of y which is 2 okay so we're going to have it here and x will be equal to 8 
minus 2. And this would imply that x will be equal to 6. So this means that when y is equal to 2, x is equal to 6. This is 6. So now let's go back to the equation and try to put in the values that we have. The two equations are x plus y equals 8. And then we have x, y equals 12, right? Now, from the first solution, we have when y was 6, or when y is 6, x is 2. So that means we're going to have x plus Sorry, x is now 2, right? We're going to have 2 plus y. And y is actually 6. Sorry about that. So we're going to write 6 here. And this is giving us 8, right? So this means that these two values for x and y are correct. Right? Because if you go down to the second problem, you to the second equation, it will be 2 times 6. Because y is 6, 2 times 6 is still giving us 12, right? And then, when you get to the second values for x and y, let's take a look at that. We have y to be 2, x to be 6. Now, if you bring it back here, you're going to have x to be 6. That will now be 6 plus y. What is y? y should be 2. And that is still giving us 8, right? Then, if you get down to the second equation, it will be 6 times 2. It's still giving us 12, right? So, this also means that this value of y is also satisfying. But remember that if you stop at only this value of y and x, then you have done it halfway. Because the values of x and y must be 2. Because both of them are real solutions to the equation. Thank you for watching.